Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering Statistics. Here we're going to get practice with the standard normal distribution that we described in the last section. We did one problem last time, now we're going to do a couple of additional ones. We're just trying to shore up your skills and get you a little more comfortable with this concept. It is a little weird at first, but I think by the end of this you'll understand. So what we want to do is, let's say we have a, a regular normal distribution with a mean of 65, with a standard deviation of 20, and let's say we have some x value that we care about here that's 40. What I want to do is draw the original distribution, including the, the uh, area of interest at 40 that we are looking at, and then we want to convert it to the standard normal and show where that value lies on the new distribution. So um, that's what we want to do. It's basically exactly the same thing that we did in the last uh, time. So let's start by drawing the original normal distribution. We can draw that here, right? And the mean is given in the original distribution, 65. So the, the entire thing is centered at 65. The standard deviation is 20. So if you think about it, 65 plus 20, I'll draw that in a different color. 65 plus 20 is 85. So let's draw that over here, 85. And 65 minus 20 is 45. So I'll symmetrically draw that over here. So the standard deviation is there. And so if I draw if I draw this curve, or if I draw this normal distribution, it should look something like this. That's not exactly symmetrical. I know my artwork is not perfect, but see what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to draw the standard deviation right at the inflection point. I'm trying to draw this standard deviation at this inflection point, even though it's not perfect. I could have curved this one down a little bit better. But you get the idea. For the purpose of what we're doing, this is fine. This is the original distribution, standard deviation of 20. That means 20 above and 20 below. Now, where would this point x is equal to 40 lie in the original distribution? Well, here's 45. So 40 is going to be somewhere probably around there. So we'll draw a little arrow and we'll say 40, right? Because obviously this is 65, this is 45, so just 5 less than that is going to be right there. So I'll say x is equal to 40. So we've done the first part. We have drawn the original distribution. Now we want to draw the standard normal distribution and then we want to show where this value x is equal to 40 lies on that standard normal distribution. Well to draw the actual standard distribution is quite easy because they're always the same. They're, they're standard. So there's not much that you have to calculate or do in order to draw the standard distribution really because the mean of these standard distributions always is at zero. I'll put mean there if you want. And the standard deviation is always plus one. So that means one 